the economic consequences of these disruptions are already being felt, as Japan is a major hub for international business and tourism. And meanwhile, closer to the eruption site, thousands of residents in the surrounding prefectures have been forced to flee. Evacuations continue as emergency shelters fill with people seeking refuge. Some roads leading away from Mount Fuji are covered in ash or partially blocked by falling debris, making travel slow and difficult. Authorities use helicopters and boats to evacuate those stranded in the hardest hit areas. As the hours pass, scientists monitoring the eruption analyze data to determine how long it may last. Volcanic activity can be unpredictable. Some eruptions weaken within days, while others continue for weeks or even months. If Mount Fuji follows the pattern of its past eruptions, the danger is far from over. The presence of pyroclastic flows, fast-moving currents of hot gas and volcanic material is another major concern. These flows, which can reach speeds of hundreds of miles per hour, are impossible to outrun and can destroy everything in their path. Japan's government urges citizens to remain indoors if they are not in immediate danger. Many people have already stocked up on emergency supplies as recommended by officials, but stores in unaffected areas experience a surge in panic buying. Essentials like bottled water, non-perishable food, and batteries disappear from shelves within hours. Online orders for air purifiers and protective masks skyrocket as people prepare for prolonged exposure to ash as we continue. We will examine the long-term consequences of the eruption, including its impact on the environment, agriculture, and Japan's economy. In the days following Mount Fuji's eruption, the scale of the disaster becomes more evident. The initial explosion was only the beginning, and now the lingering effects of the eruption begin to reshape daily life across Japan. As the ash cloud continues to spread, concerns shift from immediate evacuations to the long-term consequences that could last for months or even years. One of the most pressing issues is the growing strain on Japan's economy. The closure of airports, highways, and train lines has already caused billions of dollars in losses. And as time passes, more industries feel the impact. Factories, you know, in the Bayim Nakabam, in the Tokyo, Yokohama region, some of the country's most important manufacturing hubs are forced to suspend operations. Ashfall has contaminated water supplies in some areas, forcing businesses that rely on clean water, such as semiconductor plants and food processing facilities, to shut down temporarily. In rural areas surrounding Mount Fuji, farmers face a crisis of their own. Crops covered in even a thin layer of volcanic ash can be damaged beyond repair. Rice fields, vegetable farms, and tea plantations are particularly vulnerable as the ash alters the soil's pH levels and blocks sunlight from reaching plants. Livestock farmers also struggle as volcanic ash contaminates grazing fields and water sources, 